that's like a great British domestic that is. <laughs> So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from Thailand, second biggest city, Chiang Mai City in Northern Thailand as always. We are about 40 minutes outside of the city, east of Chiang Mai. Today, we are going to the Hell Temple. It's nicknamed the Hell's Temple. I will put the real name up on the screen once we get there. And I've just stopped off at this cool housing place. And you know how we like a good housing project, right? And this place, what's it called? It's called Norden Barn Habitat Estate. So they're still finishing it. We've got a guard on the gate here. So, but they're nice houses, aren't they? Really nice. Looks like it's quite a big place as well. So we're not going to go in now, I don't think. Maybe we could just have a look at the show home a minute. Or is it? Or is it a cafe? Hey, they've got a nice swimming pool it. Nice pool it. Yeah, this looks like one of the show homes maybe. We're going to the Hell's Temple and I've been told it's pretty gruesome. So, yeah, I'm not sure how much of it I can film with with YouTube but I've seen a lot of lot of vloggers have been there already and they've done vlogs there so it's artwork I'm not sure what to expect I've seen a few pictures online but we're gonna go and check it out man touch down the hell temple I'll put the real name up on the screen guys because it's a bit of a tongue twister yeah just it looks like an ordinary temple so I'm not sure they've got it all hidden in behind or I'm in the wrong place. So you got coffee here, you can get food here. Is it in there? I think it's in there, right? Swadi cap. Sabadi mai. Is this it? I've got to pay 10 baht. Oh, I ain't got no change on me, man. So this lady's gonna give me some 10 bats. don't know how many to get really just gonna change up 20 ah, thank you cup con cap thank you thank you okay let's do this I think I'm gonna need more than 20 I don't know right so it's an old football style turn style 10 bat to get in guys And this is what you're greeted with. So I'm taking it, it's all it's all pretty subtle on the way in, and then it gets worse as you go up. This is what I'm thinking anyway. Because oh, I've seen some photos and it looks gruesome. Yeah, I like this army. Army ones here, look, this is good, isn't it? Yeah, like this. Probably got loads here, man. Loads. Right, let's take a walk through. I'm not sure how big it is. I, I'm not thinking it's a massive place. Sorry, cab. Yeah. But they've got a lot of, a lot of statues here. Look. Um, some people are saying it is a Buddhist temple and some people are saying that it's not. Um, it's, it's not like a temple I've seen before, anywhere in Chiang Mai anyway. It's got the Muay Thai. Muay Thai fighters, that's pretty good isn't it? That's pretty cool. Where's the gruesome stuff man? Why is the gruesome? Huh? Well, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. There's another section. 
Right, so there's another another section here, so it's got to be down here, hidden away. That's the same like with Wat Chedi Luang. Sometimes they make you pay to go in that temple, and sometimes they don't. Right. Capcom cap, thank you. So I just just wanted to get the right one because I ain't got no more change. So I'm hoping this is this is the deaf one, <laughs> and I don't think it is either. I don't think it is, man. There we go. Just getting a bit more. It's getting a bit more outrageous. <laughs> It's getting a bit more crazy, so we're heading in the right direction, I think. So it looks like you can get a tour, a tour around as well, guys, but I never do that. Don't need the tour, man. Let me know what you think about it. Is it worth coming out for a look? If you're in the area, I think it is. Oh, here we go. It's getting a bit more. Here we go, then. Here we go. This is more what I was seeing online. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Whew. It's not for the faint-hearted, that, is it? Got some guy getting... Getting a gangbang. <laughs> I suppose it's not, not the worst thing in the world, is it? Look at his eyes, man. So what have we got here? That's like a that's like a great British domestic that is. <laughs> Down on my estate where I'm from. I'm used to seeing that. You got the bird biting his armlet. He's biting her thumb, kicking her away. See that a lot where I'm from. Kid, oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't like that one too much. See, it's something you don't really expect to see, especially in the north of Thailand. I think north of Thailand's always so so spiritual, and you don't see things like this. But it's the same with the um, the erotic garden. You get surprised there all the time. I mean, it's all it's all not just. Like goody two shoes, is it? You do find things like this man in Thailand and Southeast Asia. Absolute beast man. Gonna have a good walk around. Yeah, what are we thinking guys? What are we thinking? It's it's definitely worth coming out to do a vlog, that's for sure definitely worth 20 baht so it's a bargain I didn't see that head in the tree there we got a walk all down here yet yeah. ah so I was reading about this if you put 10 baht in or something yeah it's a mechanical oh my days I think yeah something starts up here there's another one that I would say this roller starts up or something and they put their hands in it. This is what I'm thinking anyway. Same with this one as well. So what have we got here? We've got a guy about to eat a frog. Good somebody's put a lot of time into it though, aren't they? That's the, the morning after going out raving.
it is definitely different 100% and that's what I was looking for something different because yeah in Chiang Mai it is quite a bit of the same with the temples it's after a while after you've lived here it becomes the same got someone here on the bottle look this woman's on the bottle this woman here sick getting looked after Look at this, look at this, look at that. Now I haven't seen this bit, didn't see this. It's like people chained together. Then we've got this guy here. With the horse lady. So I'm just going to read you some of the some of the write-ups I've seen online and what some of the pages say about this place. So this one here says, "This is not for you if you're easily disgusted." That is 100% true, I think, and probably not the greatest place for children. Definitely not. This is not a place to bring kids because yeah, you just you just wouldn't, would you? I don't think. It's an important part of Thai culture, which I thought, you know, I wasn't expecting to read that. You will learn what's going to happen to you if you sin. So this place is saying this is what will happen to you if you sin. This temple is different from other Wat in Chiang Mai. You got that right. It's garden containing graphic statue representations of the fate of those that transgress warning some of this pulls no punches and it's a very different experience so that's that's another write-up from from a site on google and it is 100 percent different this is what's going to happen to you a lot of you this is what's going to happen a lot of you sinners, <laughs> you sin city sinners, this is what's going to happen. Here we go, look. This one's a bit more normal. Got a nice young lady there. Hey, that's a powerful one, isn't it? That's a powerful one. Got the got the guy on the cross, blindfolded. Back out now, man. Gonna walk back out. Hey, what were we thinking about that? Did you guys like it? Or did you think it was disgusting and you would rather not see something like that? Um, I mean, it's not something I would do see a lot of. It's all right just seeing it one time. It's not, it's not my sort of thing, really. I used to like the horror movies back in the day, the old classics. That's what it reminded me of. An old cheesy, old cheesy classic. But what's, what's baffling for me is just there's a normal temple right outside the gate with monks and just walking around. I suppose, I suppose it's normal. They're just showing what does happen if you sin, I guess. Um, I, I did read also that some people say this this place has got nothing to do with Buddhism and I don't know I would like to I would like to ask someone or somebody's somebody's just making money off it I don't know there is some other things in the area but um, I'm not sure whether to head back to the city or hang around 
So I've sat up there, barber shop. I definitely don't need that, do I? I mean, they got a coffee shop down here. Don't look like he's open now. So, what's my honest opinion on the Hell's Temple? It's worth a visit if you're in if you're in Chiang Mai for the longer term. I'll come out here if I was just in town for a few days. I probably wouldn't. It, it costs twenty baht to get in, twenty baht to get into the first zone where it's just normal stuff, and then another ten baht to get into the to the Hell Place. Once you're in the Hell Place, if you wanna if you wanna see all the moving parts and the you know what I showed where they're making some sounds and there's a few mechanical bits moving, you're probably gonna need 50, 50 to 100 baht in 10 baht coins. So make sure you bring some 10 baht coins if you wanna see that. My opinion is once you've seen one or two, they're all the same. It's just, it's just one moving part and you know, they've got some sound effects. I'm gonna hop on Lucille guys and probably head back, head back into the city. I'm just going to have a look out the front here. It's a, it's a lovely day again, beautiful in Chiang Mai at the minute. Absolutely perfect temps, late 20s, not sweating too much. Perfect though. It's not like a day out or anything, an hour, two hours maximum. But I enjoyed myself, it was a cool vlog, really enjoyed doing it. And tick this one off because I've had this one on my list since i've seen it online i didn't know about it at first but it's been on the list for a few weeks and today i thought perfect time to come out and have a look i'm gonna stop waffling i'm gonna get home hope you're all safe and sound as always and i will see you in the next one guys send me to hell take it easy man take it easy